Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to show you a quick way to do sharpening in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, sharpening in Premiere does not have, I guess, as many sharpening tools as you might find in like After Effects or Photoshop, but it does have a few to choose from, so let's get started. The best way to find your sharpening tools is to search sharpen right here. Um, and then you'll have under presets, you'll have convolution kernel. And so we're just gonna go ahead and drag each one of these on there to show you what they all do. They're all it's going to apply everyone, so it's going to look very weird for a little while until I unclick them. Um, then down here you have sharpen again, and then unsharp mask. So let's go ahead and drop all these down right here. And then we are going to just go down. All right, so the first one here you have is convolution kernel. Um, it's a pretty intense one that uses like different channels. So if you'll see, these are all the channels and it heightens the brightness of some channels and it darkens the channels of others. And so it creates this really intense sharpen. Um, also notice that sharpening on like, so it might look bad on this image, but some images it might look good. And that's why it's good to kind of throw all of these on there and then just figure out which one looks best. If you want to manipulate these, if you use the arrow keys, it's kind of like really, really, um, I don't even, yeah, it's 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 extreme here. So let me see, does it support? No. So yeah, kind of hard to manipulate this one because you don't have a lot to work with. You go one way and it almost, I mean, there's no like minute thing that does not go into like the point two and point three or anything like that. So yeah, just throw this one on there. If it looks good, cool. A lot of times though, it'll look really blown out and it just will look um, really strong. You could use a mask to maybe feather that out and get to a point that you want. But yeah, that's, that is the convolution kernel Gaussian. And then you have this one right here, which is convolution kernel, convolution kernel sharpen. Um, same thing, except it's just using them in a different way using all of the channels, using different channels in a different way. And this one for this image actually looks pretty good. Um, I actually like this one a lot. If you'll notice, let me make this really big for a second here. So if you notice without the convolution kernel or whoops, with it here, it kind of sharpens up the edges here. It almost makes the original look blurry and you don't see much of the halo effect, especially around the details. You see a little bit maybe right, right there, but for this scene, I might actually consider this one right here, convolution, um, the second one. Uh, then you have the third one down here, which is, oops, which is sharpen edges. And this one always looks funky. Um, I haven't had a piece of footage where this one looks good yet, but I'm going to keep looking. So yeah, that's that one. <laughs> uh, then you have the next one, which is the sharpen more. And this one actually has a sort of a good side to it. Uh, I like it. In this situation, it actually does look good as well. Um, I still think number two looks the best in this situation, but this one does look good. And like I said, there's not much editing you can do in here. Um, it's still just going to be really, really intense. And let's see, the scale. Yeah, okay, I thought maybe that would change a little bit. No, it doesn't. So yeah. Now, the last one we have is just regular sharpen. And this one is the one you can really just sort of... Um, manipulate a little bit. It's going to start off at zero, so it won't do anything. And then it's just like a slider, like any other effect. You drag it up and it goes really sharp and you drag it back down and it goes to zero. So you can really dial this one in. If you want to hold down the shift key with while hitting the arrows, you'll go 10 at a time and you can really kind of um, just, you know, keep hitting it until you like the way it looks like. So now it does look a little bit blurry right here. Up one, I'm liking that's a very subtle sharpen. It almost doesn't look like it's there, but it's it is. I mean, that's what that's the beauty of it. It makes the it's correcting at this point. And I think you can almost bump this one up to 30, maybe, maybe 40. And it still looks really, really clean. And it doesn't over halo the edges. So like you can see right here before here, it at first, it doesn't look blurry. But once you apply a sharpen, you realize how blurry your footage was. And you always have to you need to scroll as well, and kind of play through the footage to see if, um, if the sharpen is actually applying well. And so as I play through it, I, I probably would actually drop this maybe down to like 25. And I think that would be good if I went with that sharpen. And then the last sharpen down here you have is Unsharp Mask. And this one is um, an interesting way of doing the sharpen. Uh, it's still like the other one. It doesn't actually change that much until you change its radius up here. 
and then it really changes the sharpening. It's weird that it's called unsharp mask and it actually ends up sharpening the footage, but yeah, that's what it does. You can kind of manipulate so the threshold, zero or one amount there. Yeah, but anyway, those are your tools to sharpen in Adobe Premiere Pro. You have, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six options to sharpen. Um, uh, I would start with the sharpen tool if, that's, if you're not looking for anything edgy. However, if you throw in one of these, it might actually look good. Like, uh, like I was saying, number two, I actually did like a little bit. Um, kind of punches it too hard, but if I was going for a shot like that, maybe with some color correction, it would look really good. Um, sharpen, however, allows you to dial it in more as well as unsharp mask. All different ways to do it. All different, you know, styles of sharpening. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. Uh, subscribe to see more tutorials like this on Adobe related content. And until next time guys, see ya.